Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another edition of What Did We Build Last Month? July 2024 edition. This month we haven't been quite as busy, however we have still managed to make 13 separate tutorials. We now have, drumroll please, 95 separate tutorials in the 2024 archive. That's pretty impressive. Not bad, kid. Last month, roughly in order, we built a medium-sized roundabout, a jack-in-the-box fast food restaurant, the drunken clam from Family Guy, the Inside Out headquarters from Inside Out 1 and 2, a tow truck towing a car, a modern subway, not to be confused with a subway, a lighthouse featuring regular house island and dock, a modern style Chili's restaurant, an underwater tunnel, an outdoor ice hockey arena, a train station, a sleeper train, shh, don't wake it, and just for fun, the Titanic. As is now tradition, ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you where each one of these builds has been placed in the city. The roundabout has been added to the new suburbs. It's currently a little lost in life, but eventually it will find a new avenue to go down. Jack in the Box has been added to the modern suburbs, because why not? The Drunken Clam was added to the beachfront, which just seems to make sense thematically. I actually had no real clue on where to add the Inside Out headquarters, so I placed it in between the military base and the modern suburbs. It kind of looks like some sort of control tower, kind of? The tow truck is helping Gru. He's having some trouble with his automobile. The modern subway has been placed in between Gru's neighborhood and the new suburbs. It will help bridge the gap between the two. Our lighthouse has been added to the ocean. Our modern chilies has been added into the modern suburbs. It just made sense. The underwater tunnel is bridging the gap between Mini City and the ocean. I don't know what's going to be built on the opposite side of this tunnel, but we had better make it good. The ice hockey arena has been added to the new suburbs. Our train station has also been added to the new suburbs as well. Along with the sleeper train, they were actually designed together, so I have kept them together. And last but not least, the Titanic is in the ocean. And it is also, don't ask me why, on top of the Empire State Building. I imagine to keep itself safe. No icebergs up here. So that is everything that has went on in the city this past month, which brings us on to this next part. If you are a channel member, you will already be able to download my design world, which we saw part of at the beginning of this video and I imagine right now on the screen. Simply go to the community tab and look for the latest post. This world is Java edition only. I'm so sorry, but it is not available on other platforms. If you're interested in becoming a member for some of these, but you know what, why don't we just roll the advert? Consider becoming a channel member today and you will gain access to a cool avatar next to your name, some unique emojis, and access to my mini city design world containing every single build that has been added to mini city to date. This is well over a hundred builds, all chronologically ordered. Java edition only. And there we go, guys. I think that that explains everything. Once again, thank you so much for watching these videos. I really do appreciate all of you, members or not. I hope to see you guys again next month for a video similar to this one. We have a lot of cool things planned. Until next time, good bye.